All right, they're having way too much fun in the kitchen. Yeah, I'm trying to go over there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's your favorite Halloween candy, Tracy? My favorite, what I always wanted, I always had to have my Kit Kats. I like after Kit that, Kats. You know, yes. Yeah. You know, after uh, me and my cousins all went trick or treating, we all did a little candy swap. Uh -huh. Everybody loves Kit Kats. Nobody ever wanted to trade. <laughs> they wanted to I'm trying to get rid of the candy themselves. corn and yeah. the paydays. Ugh. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, today's <laughs> Monday, which of course means it's time for another segment of Tracy Tries It. That's right. And with Halloween right around the corner, I felt a lesson in pumpkin carving would be very appropriate. Hey, Hampton Roads, I am here in beautiful Colonial Williamsburg, where today I'm going to be trying my hands at an age-old craft. But we're going to be stepping up a notch thanks to the culinary staff here at the beautiful Williamsburg Lodge. So let's go check it out. I'm here with Chef Tanita pumpkin carver extraordinaire and she's going to be teaching me exactly what I need to do to you know put a little pizzazz on pumpkin carving so what are we going to be doing today? What we're going to start with today is basic pumpkin uh, gutting so we're going to cut the insides out of our pumpkin and uh, the tools that we're going to use for this are not really safe looking but uh, we're going to use them safely so we have a drywall knife which is actually uh, just a, a dual blade yeah. and then this is a fleshing tool or a pumpkin uh, scraper. Okay. So we'll scrape out the pumpkin insides with this, but the serrated edge on the outside actually makes it much easier to empty the pumpkin than doing it with a regular serving spoon. So I'm going to bring Jake in. Uh, Jake is going to show us how to cut the pumpkin. Okay. And what we want to do is keep your hand safely on top of the pumpkin. He just goes around in a rough circle and you use a little bit of a sawing action, but you really don't need a whole lot of pressure because the drywall knife is so sharp, it, uh, it works out pretty well. I find that the tops tend to, as the pumpkin ages, fall in, oh, okay. as the, sh the flesh shrinks just a little bit. So by cutting off the bottom, we're just gonna put lights inside the bottom of it, and if we're using real flame, we can just cut a vent hole in the back, so you still get the same thing. And the reason that we take the insides out are, is twofold, because it's hard to put candle in a pumpkin that has its insides. And then the, uh, the inside of the pumpkin is the part that goes bad. So once you've carved the pumpkin, it will actually stay good for much longer if the insides are removed. And what we've been doing lately is spraying them with uh, bleach. And we use a bleach solution. A few of the pumpkins that are out here today have actually been carved for almost two weeks. All right, now that your pumpkin is completely cleaned out, we're going to go on to the next step, which is stenciling. Now, a lot of times you can freehand pumpkins, but if you're trying to go for a specific design, it works very well to have a stencil. And we have a, a pretty basic one to start with. And uh, Sarah is actually going to come in and show us how to transfer the template onto the pumpkin. What Sarah's going to do is pick a central part of the design to start from and work her way out from the inside. This allows you to keep an even design. And what she's doing is making a good indentation into the pumpkin with the needle tool through the lines on the template. All you have to do is start from a corner. Mm -hmm. And so I just smooth the paper down a little bit and start from your corner here. Mm -hmm. And then you're just going to move around in dots that are about a quarter inch apart all the way through the edge of that outline. Okay. And we'll do that for the rest of the design. That looks perfect. So now that your design is complete, we're ready to start carving. And if you can see, all of your lines are pretty clear. So it'll be very easy for us to go back with the paring knife and carve out the rest of the design. All right. So, you done now? Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, that one will probably pop out much easier from the inside out. The pumpkins come out clean. And that should be your finished design. So there you have it, Hampton Roads. I now know how to carve a pumpkin. Thanks to Chef Tanita, my man Jacob here, and Sarah. They gave not only me a lot of great tips, but you guys. So until next time, Hampton Roads, I'm Tracy Ann. I tried it. Mine there. That was, did you see mine in the middle? His name was Peter the Patriot Pumpkin. Doesn't <laughs> really? that just sound nice? And the chef hat. Oh. Where did that come from? <laughs> wow. Well, I'm just, I'm a chef now, so it just uh, pops on whenever I, when I so smell, smell food. Do you think you could go <laughs> home and do that? Because, you know, we're having a pumpkin carving contest here at the station. And I'm pretty much going to win. I thought we were on a team. Oh, yeah. Just, yeah. just show up. I got but it. I, I can help, too. I mean. uh, yeah, you can. Just, just show up, though. I got okay. it. I got this one. That's you can do a little something in the back. <laughs> just scrape out the insides and that was a lot of fun yeah it was it was <laughs> awesome um if you want to find out more about pumpkin carving to get free stencils you can visit <laughs> history.com <laughs> i was trying to look at the camera for what the follow the light i'm following like oh i'm at four <laughs> all right <laughs> you can go to history.com and click on the kids tab and find a photo marked pumpkin 
carvings. And I also want to give a big shout out. I went to a lot of events this weekend, and um, I want to give a shout out to everybody who came out to the uh, a walk to end Alzheimer's. I met a lot of great people, and it was an awesome, awesome cause. And uh, I want to thank Bayport Credit Union. They treated me so well. They had awesome giveaways. You know, they had the yo-yos that everybody yeah, loves. Those so are, those, those were a hit. those are those are a big hit. And uh, they were one of the top, I believe, top fundraisers. Really? Uh huh. Okay. And they, um, we raised over a hundred and forty thousand dollars to help uh, in Alzheimer's. So nice. That's that Port Hopefully Warwick and Newport News. And I also want to give a shout out to people that touch a truck. I love the kids. Costumes were awesome, and it was so nice meeting everybody. <laughs> <Are you thinking laughs> anymore? I told them I told right, yeah, them.